Well, on this hot day, people were not able to enjoy relief at Waterworld. The amusement park closed today due to contaminated water. CBS 4's Michael Abate to live tonight outside the amusement park. And Michael, busy day for those crews, though. They had to sanitize the concession areas and the pools. Yeah, that's right. And this all started with the repair of a broken backflow valve. Somehow, water from a nearby irrigation pond got into the system here at Waterworld, exposing people who were here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to things like norovirus, Giardia, E. coli, Cryptosporidium, and hepatitis A. Now, today, the park was closed, sending people who had plans to come here today scrambling to do something else. We stopped by the store, we bought a cake, got snacks, got a bunch of water toys so you know they can have their water fights. Tremaine and Paris got up early this morning with the rest of their family and got ready for an exciting day. They woke up this morning, it was uh, this young man's birthday. You know, it was just supposed to be like a big day. And when you're a 10 year old who was born in the summer, there's only one way to spend your birthday. I was very looking forward to the day. It was my first time at Waterworld. But Paris, like many others who showed up to Waterworld, had to rethink his plans because the park closed. There was a, a faulty valve was in the concession area. That faulty valve caused water from a nearby irrigation pond to get into the park's water system, contaminating it. The system supplied water to water fountains and is used to make ice drinks and food. Out of an abundance of caution, the park and the Tri-County Health Department closed the park on Thursday. In 39 years, this has never happened to us. We pride ourselves in great water. Workers sanitize the pools. They use chlorine to kill any pathogens that may have been lurking. As for Paris and his 10th birthday party. It disappoints me that it's closed because of the water contamination or whatever. As the day got hotter, they quickly made a new plan to hit another water park just in the nick of time. Yeah, the cake is actually like melting right now. Now, Tri-County Health says that if you were here and you're experiencing symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea, or fever, to give the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment a call and to see a doctor. The park plans to reopen on Friday. In Federal Heights, Michael Aveta covering Colorado First. All right, Michael, thanks so much for that update.